What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one is an Edgard Bermuda. Brought to you by the homie Cliff. Me and Cliff did a trade. And uh, without further ado, let's open up the box. Nice big pleather box. And then we've got the watch, an extra strap. The two links I removed, so I will spare you the uh, sizing of this watch. But this watch is super unique. Um, Cliff was after a couple watches that I had, and we made something happen. This is the Edgard Bermuda fully engraved case and bracelet. skeleton dial this is a Seiko NH70 movement sapphire crystal on the actual crystal here and the exhibition case back is also sapphire very cool watch something very different to my collection thank you Cliff and uh, glad to have it so we'll talk a little bit more about it. First things first, let's get it on my wrist and show you guys what it looks like. So this is a butterfly clasp. Like I said, I already sized it. There it is on my wrist, seamless. Got the egg guard right there at the clasp. Everything is engraved, 316 now stainless steel. And it does have a nice little taper from 20 millimeters down here under the wrist up to 25 at the lugs up here at top. Then it's got like a hexagonal bezel, very slight, you know, not very, very noticeable. But if you look at it, you got the points there. Fully engraved bezel. Fully engraved case sides, fully engraved lugs, fully engraved bracelet, and even the strap that it comes with, the buckle is fully engraved as well, which is super cool. So, uh, a little bit more about this watch. This is 42 millimeters in diameter. Then we've got 13 millimeters thick. Not too shabby there. Like I said, 25 millimeters up here at the lugs. Taper all the way down to 20 at the clasp. And then a really odd one that I wanted to make sure I brought up to everyone's attention. Is this is a 50 millimeter lug to lug if you count the actual watch case. But if you count this bracelet, you get all the way to... 62.5 at the widest because this bracelet does not um, conform to your wrist very well. So you see how far it sticks out. So at this furthest point here, it is 62.5 millimeters. So that's a big thing since my days of wearing Invicta is um, you want a bracelet that conforms to your wrist. That just makes the watch so much more comfortable to wear. And this one, you know, definitely fits for my wrist. I have an eight and a quarter inch wrist. But for somebody with like a six inch wrist, this might be an issue because it's so wide. Um, but I just thought I'd bring that up because that's something important to someone looking to buy this particular model of watch. This model is actually number 3553. And then... uh the exhibition case back, like I said, is sapphire as well. Butterfly clasp, which is nice. Um, you know, a lot of people hate on butterfly clasp because of the uh, lack of micro adjusts. This one, like I showed you already, fits me very well. I took out two links. And it is snug, but it is not too snug. It is winter time right now, so we'll see how that feels in the uh, summer when the wrist swells up. But you see that 
that part of the bracelet that does not conform works perfect for my wrist because I have a wide wrist. So it still wraps around and hugs my wrist very, very well. But if you have, you know, like I said, six, six and a half inch wrist, this bracelet might be an issue and you'd have to probably wear the strap because the watch is 42 millimeters. So it should fit a wide variety of size wrists. I just think this bracelet, the way it does not um, conform to the wrist might be a major issue. I mean, that's full. That's as much range as you get from the bracelet. So not much at all. The bracelet is very tight tolerance and does have these two little pieces that connect each link. And I think that's why you get no real movement is because the tolerances are so tight. And then these pieces do not allow it to articulate the way um, you would expect it to. You got the Eggard logo on the non screw down crown. This is a hundred meter water resistant. But the, the crown is push pull. And this is definitely like a dress watch slash sports watch. Definitely not a diver. So um, not expected to be super water resistant. Um, the skeleton NH70, you can see right through it. You can see my finger there. And even the rotor is uh, carved out in the center. So you have a very see-through rotor as well. But overall, super happy. Thank you, Cliff. I do like the watch and I will be wearing this. Um, something very unique to my collection. And uh, even though I had Yvonne on, on the channel or Ivan, I can't, I'm not sure. Uh, the CEO of uh, Eggard on my channel a long time ago on one of my live shows. Um, I have yet to purchase a watch from Eggard just because there's nothing that screamed to me I needed to have that watch. And so uh, Cliff, you know, made the opportunity where now I have one of my collections. So shout out to you, bro. And uh, with that, we'll do some close-up photos of the watch. Let you see a little more intricate details in the photos. Um, stay tuned for those. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the like. Share this with your friends. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless.